What's going on guys? So I am out here at America's largest RV show in Hershey, Pennsylvania. This is the Hershey RV show. And I'm gonna show you a really cool Alpine fifth wheel that I ran across. This thing is beautiful. I love the paint. I love how they've put the word Alpine across here. Um, the graphics are so much edgier than you typically see with full body paint units. And I know that the side of the slide outs aren't painted, but I still consider this full body paint. If you wanna consider it partial body paint, I get it, but I'm gonna call it full body paint. That said, we're gonna film this unit, see what it's all about. Hang tight. I'll be right back. So first off, I have to give a big shout out to my friends over at RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring these videos. All their beds have a 10-year warranty and come with free shipping to anywhere in the U.S. We love our RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Use promo code BIGTRUCKBIGRV to receive a 25% discount. Link in the description. Thanks again. Okay. So we're going to start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. It's going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,500 pounds, cargo capacity of 3,220 uh, 3, pounds. It's going to have a dry weight, which I don't think they showed on this unit. Sometimes, oh, dry weight, there it is, 13,220 pounds, axle capacity, twin 7,000 pound axles, 16 inch G-rated tires. So everything looks pretty good for this one. I would definitely recommend that you tow this thing behind at least a one ton single rear wheel truck with the correct capacity, towing capacity and hitch weight capacity for the RV and everything you're gonna load inside of the RV plus the truck. But we're gonna hop inside of the inside of this thing and see what it's all about. And then we'll hop out and see what the outside's about. Okay, coming around. Like I said, I absolutely love the paint job and the decal on here, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna hop up the Lippert solid steps into this Alpine 3303 CK. All right. We have the Lippert screen assist on this one as well. Nice friction hinge on the door. Let me close that up behind us. Okay, this is beautiful. These Alpines are gorgeous. They really are. It's a division of Keystone, very similar to a Montana, but a step above in terms of overall luxury. They are considered a more premium brand. See, it has the blackout shades and the screens. Beautiful fixtures. Love the, the wood accents, the tones. It's just absolutely gorgeous. You have all these lighter tones blended with the darker tones. This is a beautiful rear living room floor plan. This enormous island. Tall cabinetry, soft closing drawers, nice upgraded faucet. It has a huge sink. So you got this cool split right here and then you also have another one right here. Beautiful. Again, enormous island. You have extra touch-up paint that comes along with it. Not soft closing drawers, but check this out. So you have these pull-out drawers right here. Again, very indicative of premium brands. Soft closing cabinets though. You got more drawers like that here. Huge buffet area. Great place for a coffee maker. Nice widescreen TV here. Nice wide view panoramic fireplace. That's real wood. You have a JBL sound system in here. Valances look really nice all the way around. Wireless charging on each side of the uh, sofa sleeper. You have your power port right there as well. These are theater seating and they are all electric. It looks like it has dual pane windows, but it might not. Coming around this way. Definitely like that refrigerator. Full-size Samsung residential refrigerator, counter depth refrigerator. It says an Insignia stove cooktop, four burner cooktop. Got more space down here, more space here. And check this out. The exhaust vent area above the stove is beautiful. So is the backsplash. Now this is a uh, like a plastic backsplash. It's not real stone. Would have been nice if it were real stone, but it does look nice. It saves a little bit of cost though. This is nice. So you have a countertop that pulls out, very motorhome-like. That's really cool. And that tucks away. Sorry, they are still setting up for the show, so a lot of noise. Storage there, more storage up here. Big window right here in your hallway coming up. This has the in-command system here as well, which essentially controls everything inside of this RV. You have your fan controls as well. Wow, this is a beautiful bathroom. Nice solid surface, dual basin sinks. It would have been nice if they used stainless steel under here, but I think they used the white plastic, not to save costs so much, but more to blend with the countertop. That's my gut. 
and it probably saves cost at the same time. Magnetic soft closing counters or cabinet drawers. Your drawers here are not soft closing. They are full extending. You have two faucets in here as well. You have some storage underneath the sinks also. You have your Encore shower. Good size shower with a seat. Single sprayer. Very nice. Stepping into the bedroom area. Huge bedroom, king size bed, nice and low. You're gonna have storage underneath here, of course. A lot of storage, I like how they finished it off as well. You have some nice nightstands that extend out. That's how I like the nightstands, plus some storage underneath. He got plenty of room for a CPAP machine. Some nice lighting up top. Coleman mock air conditioning system here. This unit probably has two ACs, not three. Let's see. Yeah, two ACs, but it looks like there's a spot if you wanted to add a third one. This would be where your washer and dryer would go. And then opening the closet. Got a lot of room in here. You have a little area to put your shoes to hang clothes. Your TV's right there. A lot of wardrobe space in here. Sorry, there's a golf cart out there backing up. More storage right here. Very nice. What do you think of the interior? Anyways, let's hop outside and see what the outside's all about. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly go over the outside. There's a lot of noise and I'm trying to get this in the pocket of quiet that we have. Got the front road armor pin box, has a rubber bushing right here to dampen some of the shock between the trailer and the truck and the truck and the trailer. This has the new Lippert hydraulic leveling system on it as well. Dragonfly lithium iron phosphate battery included, very nice. Nice thick, heavy, dense baggage doors on strut arms. Uh, this one doesn't go up all the way because you have a big slide right here. You can just see how much room that drop frame gives you. Check that out. They have it loaded up with stuff for the show. Crazy. You have an outside outlet right here. It's wired for Fury on side view camera, Lippert solid steps. This is gonna have the road armor suspension. Same suspension we have on our fifth wheel, heavy duty shackle straps, greasable wet bolts. It's also gonna run Saloon S6, uh, S637 tires. Very, very good tire. G-rated. You have two awnings, one awning here, one awning right there. Frameless windows. This is gonna have rack and pinion slides on a 12 inch I-beam frame with an eight inch drop frame section. All LED tail lights, LED lights up top. It is wired for a backup camera. This does have a two inch receiver. It is designed for towing, even though I don't recommend it. You do have your four way light controls right there. Then on this side, you have an electric cord reel. Another rack and pinion slide. And then up front, sorry about that. You can see the tractor right here making that noise. Outside of your furnace, outside of your on-demand water heating system. This is gonna, probably gonna be your wet bay. Yep, that's gonna be your wet bay with your water control panel. Other side of your storage in here. Two 30 pound cans. And cable driven slide up front. So I believe it has 400 watts of solar on the roof. Not 100% sure because it doesn't have the sticker on the side. But what do you guys think? Um, I'm not giving prices out here because I don't have access to pricing yet. None of it's been put up, so they don't have anything posted. And I'm just kind of going around showing you floor plans. But you can definitely look up this model. This one, I believe, is sold by Myers RV. Leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.